Hi, I'm Gina O'Connor and uh, I'm going to talk to you today a little bit more about crystal skulls. Um, today I would like to focus on uh, crystal skulls as psychic tools. And um, there are many ways that crystal skulls can be helpful to our path uh, in developing our psychic abilities and um, intuitions and act as uh, guidance systems and um, many ways in which we can help enhance our uh, intuition and psychic abilities. Some of these ways that I'm going to be talking about today are um, scrying, uh, meditation, telepathy, uh, dreams, and uh, synchronicities. Those are the, uh, the main ways that I'm going to be uh, talking about today, and there are even more ways, um, but this is just going to give you just a little bit of a, a taste, example of what you can do at, when you work with your uh, crystal skulls. So first of all, um, scrying. Scrying simply means uh, looking into something to be able to see. Uh, you may be looking at the past or the future. Um, you can use many devices. Some people will use things like uh, water or a mirror or uh, even clouds. But crystal school, uh, skulls are also useful for this purpose. And in particular, um, crystal skulls that have some sort of depth to them. So a nice uh, clear quartz that has some perhaps different reflective qualities within it uh, can give you a, a nice result when you're learning to scry. So what you would do is you would look inside your crystal skull and you would just uh, calm your mind and you would look for images. Whatever um, images may be within the crystal skull at that time and they may change and they may even move as you uh, get into a deeper uh, somewhat like trance-like state that this will put you into and you will uh, be able to see images within and symbols within the skull uh, that may give you answers to questions that you may have. Um, it, it's a way of accessing your, your subconscious um, and uh, looking at symbols um, in, your, in your outer world. So if I were to look into this one right now, um, I would be able to see, uh, well, what I see right now is the image of another skull that has rainbows, and I see the eyes of this. And if I were to focus on this uh, image and, and, and uh, think about this more deeply, this might be telling me something about my life at this time. Uh, my future or my past. So that's one way that you can use crystal skulls uh, to access uh, your psychic abilities, scrying. Um, now, perhaps you don't have uh, the kind of crystal skull that uh, is something that you can look into and, and, and see much. For instance, some crystal skulls like uh, this one here is made of petrified wood. This is a very ancient crystal skull and so there are different ways that I might access uh, my uh, psychic abilities through this. One of the ways would be through um, meditation and by meditating on this I can uh, clear my mind and perhaps just uh, sit with it for some time and feel certain vibrations. Um, I can meditate with it 
in a variety of ways. I can, I can meditate with uh, an open mind and just listen to whatever comes into it and be open to whether I see things visually or perhaps I would hear something or sometimes you might smell, um, taste, or just a knowing. Um, it might come in one word or it might come in a whole story. It might even come in through a song. So you just have to pay attention to those things and if you were to afterwards write them down, uh, this may help you to understand what is being told at that time. Uh, furthermore, since this one here is petrified wood, it's a very ancient skull and so um, it's connected to uh, things that have happened in the past, for instance. So I might be able to read not only things about myself, but what things that happened to this skull in history. And I would do that um, in meditation, but the process is called psychometry. And psychometry is uh, simply feeling, uh, usually with your hands, or perhaps with your forehead, or your heart, or just sitting with it and getting a feeling of its aura. And through this process, uh, you may have a natural ability for it, or it may take some practice, but you may be able to um, look into what are known as the libraries of time, uh, the Akashic records. And crystal skulls also uh, are recorders. Um, as I talked about in the first episode. And they hold a lot of information about things that have happened through time and space into the past as well as into the future. So um, I have personally uh, been able to, to access information that I feel through this. Um, and, and actually just uh, sometimes it's not even an impression of what happened, but it may just be a feeling of it being very old, and um, I might get uh, a sense of a, a smell or a particular emotional feeling. Um, sometimes it's not always in a logical sequence, and uh, this one here is named Dao Chi, and uh, personally, uh, uh, I felt uh, when I meditated that this one had been um, with uh, monks and particular a particular monk came through with me and I can talk about that more some other time but uh, other ways that uh, you might access your intuition are through your dreams um, a lot of people will take a crystal skull and they simply just take it and they put it to either by their pillow or in their bed. And it may sound strange, but a lot of crystal skull people do this. And I think why they're doing it is to really just to um, have that energy available to them and close by uh, to interact with their skull, but also to help them understand and bring perhaps some psychic dreams to them. Uh, that would come, you know, as you sleep. So that's that's another way, and then you would also try to, to recognize uh, what those were and write down and look at your symbols of that later. Uh, another way is um, not only just to hold a crystal skull, but you can access information from a crystal skull simply by looking at a photograph or a video of one. So for instance, if there's one here that you connect with, um, this may also uh, give you an impression and you can meditate with it like this. Uh, now this one is a very uh, interesting skull to me because um, I don't have much time left right now to talk about it, but it has sent me some information through uh, holographs that I see within the skull. So um, I'm going to leave that for next time, but uh, it's very interesting, and it's what I have learned to call uh, the hollow matrix. So please share.